now we will see some more uh, s4 methods so there are uh, many different methods for the show generic function like uh, so uh, if you want to uh, see the different methods for the show generic controller i'm clearing the screen show methods of show if i use this you see the function show you are seeing the package methods so class generator function class representation environment of class function generic function generic function with trace method definition so you you see all these objects associated with the show so uh, <coughs> there are many different uh, methods to the show generic function so what is the mechanism behind uh, generic method or generic uh, normal methods so the first argument of a generic function is an object of a particular class there may be other arguments as well but the first argument should be of a particular class so the generic function checks for the class of the object uh, a search is done uh, to so like, uh, for example if you call for show uh, the show is like uh, searched in the object fab the methods package for finding the generic function uh, that is a search is done to see if there is an uh, appropriate method for that class if there exists a method for the class then that method is called on the object and we are done so like uh, if a method is for the class does not exist a search is done to see if there is a default method for the generic so if the method is uh, not there then a generic is searched so if a default exists then the default method is called so like if you are searching for a method it will search for the method and when the method is there it will display it so if the method is not there then it will look for the generic function that's associated with it and if the generic function is available in the packages then the generic function the other default method is called so what if the default method is not there then an error will be shown so if a default method doesn't exist then an error is thrown so let's move on to like we need to examine the code for methods so how do we uh, do that so examining the code for an s3 or s4 method it requires a call to a special function so you cannot just print the code for a method like other functions because the code for the method is usually hidden a method uh, for the print or show that we saw earlier so the code for these methods is hidden so you cannot just print the code for these methods uh, because it is hidden if you want to see the code for an s3 method you can use the function get s3 method so the call is get s3 method generic comma class for s4 methods you should use get method the call is get method generic signature more details we'll see it later so i already told you to uh, use this seed when you are uh, going working with uh, random numbers to remember what was the random number because random numbers always uh, uh, change when you use the function again and again so we use seed uh, to set the defined random numbers at the time so what is happening here uh, I'm using set dot seed of two, which means I'm, I'm creating the seed, and x I'm assigning uh, 100 random numbers with normal distribution, and I'm finding mean of x. The class of x is numeric, but there is no mean method for numeric objects, so we call the default function for mean. So you, as you can see here, the mean method is does not exist for numeric objects, but uh, the default uh, function for mean is being called so that you get the result at the end So next uh, what happens is like head of get s3 method mean come on default uh, It's a function the x trim equal to 0 na dot remove equal to false which means I'm not removing the dot na values so if not dot is numeric of x and is dot complex x and not of is dot logical x. Uh, so, what I am checking here, I am checking whether it is not numeric or not complex or not logical. So, then I can display a warning argument is not numeric or logical and it returns NA. So, 
now in the tail function so let's say there is a tail function i'm creating where uh, the next function here i'm creating is a get uh, s3 method mean comma default lo equal to four floor of uh, n comma n star trim plus one and i'm just creating a high low function here very simple and uh, high equal to n plus one minus low so if i sort like x equal to sort dot int of x comma partial equal to unique uh, the unique will contain the c low comma high and dot internal mean of x so this mean we are calling the default function for this function that we are creating now that is the reason we go for this uh, s3 method here to call the default uh, methods for uh, mean so now we are going to the example two. like what happens here uh, set dot seed of three df uh, data dot frame uh, creating again a data frame which has random numbers one to hundred in the x column and in the y column we just have one to hundred listed so i'm using uh, s apply df uh, comma mean so what happens here is x value created and uh, for mean y is uh, the class of uh, df is data frame so in a data frame each column can be an object of a different class so here we have a numeric objects again we have a numeric objects so we supply over the columns and call the mean function in each column uh, the mean actually checks for the class of the object and it dispatches the appropriate method so we have a numeric column and an integer column so the first column is a numeric one and the next column is an integer one so in both the cases mean calls the default method so that's why like we are able to get the mean values here 